It is a pleasure to be here today. We are going to talk about a smart technology, smart building, innovation, and I'm thrilled to really delve into this topic. We're finding that more and more organizations are really spinning up interest in this area. So we're going to move into a topic where we cover how the intersection of innovation, smart building technology meet with regulations, right? So this regulations are, are, there's a big topic around it coming out. There's, there's driving functions, but it's not really just a matter of compliance. It is all about getting ahead of this. There's a demand, there's a need. Organizations and businesses and governments globally are waking up to the urgency of sustainability. And consequently, policies are going to be coming out that will be driving the demand and driving the need for more and more sustainable, ethical, responsible solutions. So I'm thrilled to be here today with my, my friend and my partner here, Tim, who's going to talk about how Carrier Abound is bringing forward this amazing, smart, innovative, sustainable solution that addresses the needs that these organizations and these governments are, are looking for. So, Tim, I'm going to pass it over to you. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. Can everybody hear me all right? Good afternoon. Welcome to reInvent. Uh, so I'm Tim Johnson. I lead digital alliances for uh, Carrier. Um, and we're going to talk to you a little bit about Carrier and how we're on our own digital transformation and really how we're thinking about the market and enabling the market from a solution perspective. Um, so our agenda, we want to talk about the digital opportunity and what that means, uh, not just for Carrier as a company, but for the market and how we're thinking about that with our customers and with our partners. Um, we'll talk about Abound, which is our digital platform for smart building, give you a good perspective of that and what that looks like. And then we want to talk about our collaboration with our partners like Evident and what we're doing and how together we can take digital solutions to market and actually solve customer problems. So a quick overview of Carrier. I mean, most people, if they hear Carrier, they think of HVAC. So yes, we are an HVAC company, that's for sure. Um, but we're also made up of three different business units. And we're an S&P 500 company, uh, about $20 billion in sales. And actually, Carrier was rolled up underneath um, another company. And we spun out in the middle of COVID in, in uh, February 2020 as our own like public company. And so with that was a rebirth of Carrier. So you can think of us almost as a 100-year-old startup. Um, and as part of that strategy is like, how do we think about delivering new products and new capabilities to market in, in concert with our partners? Um, so along those lines, one of the things that Carrier is recognized for, and I think from an initiative perspective, is this idea around sustainability and ESG. So um, we're, we're very focused on that as a company. We're very proud of our efforts in that, in that market. Um, like we have goals, large goals like many enterprise companies do around sustainability to be carbon neutral by 20, 2030, um, save a, over a gigaton of greenhouse gases in our product and product delivery. Um, we're also recognized as a leader. We're number eight out of the um, Barron's Magazine Top 100 um, admirable companies for what we're doing for sustainability. So if you think about a, a large manufacturing company with a global footprint, and how do we drive this towards sustainability? Um, all these initiatives roll into that. And we'll talk a little bit about that from a go-to-market perspective with our digital solutions. Uh, we have a bound, which I'll get into in a little bit more detail in a bit. And then links, which is really our product around supply chain. So if you think about supply chain and the cold chain portion of that, um, that's where we can have some really big impacts from a sustainability perspective. Um, so really, Carrier's opportunity, uh, we're on our own digital transformation on a couple of fronts. So one is really about connectivity. So how do we enable any product that Carrier ships? How do we get that connected? How do we create an IoT platform to enable that? And lay down a digital layer that's going to open up the door for taking that information, delivering more value to the market and more value to our customers and in partnership with, with Evan and other partners like AWS. Um, so really, the opportunity is very, very large for Carrier. Only 3% of our assets in the field are connected today. We have a goal, ultimately, that everything that we ship should be connected to a digital platform to enable higher levels of value. And that's really our digital transformation piece that we're on. Along with that is, is the aftermarket. So how do we provide higher levels of service? And ultimately, the market is moving towards an as-a-service model. So whether that's 
HVAC as a service, cooling as a service, you know, how do we start to drive towards that and enable that in the marketplace, and again, provide more value to our customers around that. So that's all part of this, it's tied very much into sustainability around our goals and how we can help solve that for customers. And then ultimately, it's a digital transformation that we're on and that we can take to market. Um, so around smart and healthy buildings, so Carrier is partnered with AWS. So our, our platform is built cloud native on AWS from a, from a technology perspective. It's cloud first. Um, we're partnering with uh, uh, Evident from a solution perspective, like how do we take those solutions to market and provide that the higher levels of integration and ultimately drive solutions to market. Um, and from an integrated platform perspective, it's about connecting, it's about being smart, and then providing an intuitive platform that we can provide data and analytics and capabilities to, to drive higher levels of value. Um, so, kind of where are we today is, is really buildings are, are kind of static, right? Um, disparate systems, they have a control system, lighting systems, all these different subsystems, and none of that's really connected. And, and the ability to operationalize that um, can happen through a digital platform like a bound. Really thinking about how does it be smart? How do you surface data and information from the building? And how do you start to think about the building as a conscious environment? Buildings were actually meant for people, right? Not just to be there. Um, and so how do we start to think about that? And along these lines, we can bring together sustainability, uh, healthy building, because you want to be able to create, um, you know, as you're getting more operationally efficient, people think about reducing your energy footprint, lots of that's tied back to your HVAC system and so forth, but you don't want to do that at the expense of your, uh, of your people, right? So buildings were, were built for people. Um, sometimes these things are at well, odds with one another, so being able to have a correlation between operational efficiency, indoor air quality, and all of these things together to drive outcomes. So a little bit more about Abound as a digital platform. Um, again, it's an open agnostic platform, cloud native designed um, in the cloud. Uh, and we really start with from a, a visualization perspective. So typically, most customers start with like, I just need to understand what's happening within my four walls of my building. What does the energy footprint look like? So start with a visualization perspective and then drive it towards analyze. So as you start to collect data, now you can actually do some anal analytics around that. Understand your operational patterns, understand your indoor air quality, understand your occupancy, and how do you start to optimize across all these different variables? Um, and then ultimately, how do we drive towards autonomy? So if a car can drive itself, why not a building? So why can't a building be a conscious environment that interacts and reacts to what's going on around it and inside of it? So that's the vision on where we're going with this platform, to connect and deliver outcomes and drive a conscious environment and more autonomy and enable operators and customers to uh, not worry about so much around the operations, but more around higher value add things that we can deliver around. Um, and this is really interesting, it gets around collaboration. So we're partnering with AWS, we're partnering with Evident. So no one company can do this alone, right? Um, there's a lot of variables that kind of map into this, and this is one of the value propositions that we think we can help address across some of these mega trends. You know, there's climate crisis, there's a drive towards digitization, connectivity, how do you drive connectivity, and um, also create healthy spaces at the same time. So all of these things sort of tie together from a platform perspective. We can drive sustainability goals, we can uh, reduce your operational spend, uh, create more value there, and ultimately drive compliance and achieve compliance. So whether it's sustainability, energy, healthy buildings, um, all of these things together, tied together from a digital platform perspective, and we do that together. So CARE is working with Evident to help drive those solutions to market. Uh, Evident is a large global company as well that provides services and capabilities to customize these capabilities for customers. Um, so just to give you a picture of like the integration services, um, you can think of, of Abound as a digital platform focused on the smart building, but many of our customers want customization. So how do you customize a product? How do you tie that into my, my larger enterprise picture? And that's where partners like Evident come in to drive integration services and capabilities to extend and customize the platform for our customers' needs. And pretty much almost every enterprise customer we talk to is looking for some levels of customization. How do they get integration capabilities out of it? How do they bring that data, not just within the application, but extend that data where it's pertinent to the rest of their enterprise and across their enterprise systems? And that's really the value and solution that we bring together 
um, one as a digital platform, and secondly as a partner, as a digital solution capabilities, and doing these levels of integration. Um, one quick note, so uh, About was just listed in the AWS Marketplace, so it's available now. Um, if, you, if you already are working with AWS, it's a good commercial vehicle where you can acquire the product and um, work it through the Marketplace model. So with that, I think we're going to be around after, after the show. Uh, Evan has a booth just to the side, so we'll be there. We're available to answer questions, um, anything of that nature. So we really appreciate our time. Uh, I hope you enjoy the show, and we look forward to talking to you after the show. So thank you.